I'm in the Pacific Palisades, and today we're going to be exploring an abandoned Nazi camp right here in Los Angeles, Murphy's Ranch. First structure of the abandoned Nazi camp at Murphy's Ranch. So I'm pretty sure this was the stable area. A lot of people are confused, you know, like what, what do you mean there's an abandoned Nazi camp uh, in Los Angeles? The story goes that this guy Murphy was a Nazi sympathizer during World War II. And so he kind of set up this compound and had its own power station and, and water tower and and he was really it looked like he was preparing to hunker down for the apocalypse or to wait for the Nazis to take over America or something like that and he kind of was trying to gather a, a group of Nazi sympathizers to join him on this compound but what happened was that we were attacked at Pearl Harbor and as soon as we were attacked at Pearl Harbor that's when we United States officially joined the war and the day after we were attacked at Pearl Harbor, um, everyone at the Murphy Ranch was arrested and taken into custody. And then eventually, somehow the, the city or the state took over the property. And I believe the city of Los Angeles owns it now, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Such a peaceful spot to set up a Nazi camp or any camp or place to live. It's pretty, pretty beautiful canyon. Lots of wonderful trees and shade, and we've got a little creek there. Who knew that Nazis were such lovers of nature? Not exactly sure what what this structure would have been. It's got a weird, weird layout here. I mean, maybe, I don't know, this is probably the foundation, and then who knows what was above it. Not exactly sure. We're getting into the heart of kind of like the biggest structures here. 